Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about hair rinses and this is the first hair rinse video that I will be sharing with you guys apart from the one I did alongside my avocado protein hair treatment some time ago. So I'll leave uh, the link in the description box so that you can check it out and take a look at what the ginger and onions hair rinse I did is like. So why are hair rinses really cool? They are cool because they help balance hair production which helps tackle issues like oiliness, dandruff and hair fall. Some help to balance pH levels of your scalp. They also help to add moisture to the hair shaft. They calm, freeze and minimize flyaways. Hair rinses are also rich in nutrients that help nourish your hair. So guys, for the purpose of this video, I will be using avocado instead of um, vegetable glycerin. Um, you all know I love aloe vera so much because of the nutrients it has in it. It has vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B12 and you know it helps moisturize your hair really well. But if you do not have aloe vera, Vegetable glycerin is a very good option for you to work with as it is one of the best known humectants that is aside honey. So it deeply moisturizes and hydrates the hair and helps to remove split ends. So vegetable glycerin is really cool too. What I am doing right now is just getting my aloe vera into the blender so that I can get the juice because that is what I will be working with. I won't be needing so much aloe vera here but I'll use the remaining part of it for my spray bottle and the rest I'll be using it for the hair rinse. Guys, I also realized while I was done filming that the initial part of this video was not actually covered. That is when I was showing you guys my ingredients and how I put them into the jar. But that is not a problem. I can just explain that to you. So it is not difficult. It is really easy. It is just like making tea for breakfast or just having tea. Okay. So I would explain that to you guys. So um, after I'm done with this, I will just move on to show you guys what it looks like. Now that our aloe juice is almost ready, I'm just going to finish this up quickly and then blend it. So now that it's ready, I will just set it aside because I will come back to it while I show you guys the other ingredients that I put together. So just get an empty jar and bring your water to boil. Turn it into the jar and then put in your fennel seeds and your green tea bag. So fennel seeds are really cool because they are rich in iron and copper. They also have folate and niacin which helps improve hair growth. You know it also has other health benefits. People have really cool teas with fennel seeds and it's really good for your health. Generally, green tea is packed with powerful antioxidants and a lot of us enjoy it. We take it for a lot of health benefits. In this case, green tea helps to, you know, support hair growth by stimulating your hair follicles and improves nutrient delivery on your scalp. So after that, I will set aside the mixture for about 20 minutes and after 20 minutes, I'll come back to it to add my vinegar and my aloe vera juice to it. So as you can see here, I made sure that the tea bag has infused properly into the liquid and the fennel seeds too. So I'm going to be adding my apple cider now. Apple cider is really cool because it helps to balance your scalp pH. It also helps to clarify and exfoliate your scalp, removing dead skin cells and also product build up, build up rather sorry but this is not a substitute for shampoo so make sure you wash your hair before you apply apple cider do not ap apply apple cider undiluted on your hair because it can actually 
induce hair loss this is my aloe vera juice i won't be putting so much but you just put it depending on how much you want but here i'm just going to be adding really little in here the spoon here is about 15 mils and then what is left i'm just going to add it up just after that make sure you stir it up properly and then you keep it again for another 10 minutes so the total time required to infuse the fennel seeds and the tea bag it's actually 30 minutes make sure that the fluid is still warm at the time when you're ready to sieve so that you use your rinse out warm now that we are done with this process you're just going to keep it aside and then get a sieve to sieve out all that is in the jar so I have my sieve with me right now and I'm just going to turn everything into the bowl you can choose to use a cheesecloth or a sieve and either way you're going to have similar results the fennel seeds are all in the bas in the sieve rather and then after this you just pour it on your hair once you're done you apply your leave-in conditioner and you're good to go i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you get to try it too let me know what you think about this in the description box um i would really like to hear your comments thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye